Now, WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. Last night on their home floor, Quincy Notre Dame, well, they were able to hold on down the stretch to beat Mammoth Roseville 60 to 54. That was indeed a big victory. But 24 hours later, well, the Raiders were once again facing another tough test at the pit as they tipped off against their rivals from Sacred Heart Griffin. Raider Nation loud and proud at the pit tonight with 7 12. Q and D facing the 13 and 8 SHG squad. Late fourth quarter, Q and D down seven. Cyclones on that inbounds pass, and Raider Junior Grant Hire tries to tip the ball away and takes a nasty fall on his left arm. Hire had to be helped off the court. No official word on his condition. Under 10 seconds ago, Q and D trying to climb back in. Jack Gillian ends up with the ball and spots up for that quick three. He drills it. Raiders now within six with seconds to go, but when it's all said and done in this one, the Raider rally would fall short this evening. Your final after four at 10th and Jackson. Quincy Notre Dame falling to defeat at home 53 to 47 against the Cyclones of SHG. Now this game was tied at 21 at the halftime break. Grant Heyer, by the way, led the 7 and 13 blue and gold with 16 points. We wish Mr. Heyer all the very best with that injury. Meanwhile, at Payson Seymour this evening, the hard charging seventh ranked Indians were playing host to Brussels. First quarter action. Payson with great ball movement here around the key as Brian Deaker finds Cole Schwartz wide open in the corner for one of his seven three pointers on the night. Still in the first, Payson's Lucas Loose drives, goes behind the back for the sweet deuce. Coming up right here off the window, Lucian and Schwartz combined to outscore Brussels 18 to 5 in the very first quarter. Second quarter, Brian Deaker finds Cole Schwartz and CS finds uh, nothing but twine for three of his 27 points. Still in the second quarter, Payson's Trey Johnson finds Lucas loose in transition. Loose with the pump fake, gets the bucket for two of his 19 points on the night. Your final after four on this one, Payson Seymour. Watch out for the Indians. They beat Brussels 73 to 34. Payson now 22 and one on the season. As a team, by the way, the Indians, well, they hit 13 three pointers tonight in exciting PCC action. Wow. Meanwhile, on the ladies hardware, the Eagles from Knox County soared past La Plata this evening, 49 to 27 at the North Shelby tournament. Also at North Shelby High, the Lady Raiders beat the Lady Birds of South Shelby. 44 to 34 was the final in that one. In college hoops action earlier this evening, Lady Blazers of John Wood Community College win on the road against Lewis and Clark, 64 to 58. Allison Moore led the Lady Blazers with 23 big points. Sydney Miller chipped in with 14. Pepsi Arena should be rocking with excitement once again tomorrow night with high scorer Tanner Stuckman and the 10 and 8 Hawks of QU finally returning to their home court looking to snap a three game losing skid. The red shirt junior is currently averaging just over 19 points a game for the Hawks who are now four and six in the GLVC heading into Thursday's game against eight and 10 William Jewell College. The Cardinal, by the way, is three and seven in the conference standings and are sporting a two game winning streak. The six foot nine Quincy Notre Dame grad understands that facing WJC in the Gym City for the second time this season overall will be a true test for the Hawks and one that they are indeed ready for. I think we're hungry. You know, like I said, we had a rough, uh, long road trip. Uh, it was a rough span of five games, but I think we're hungry. You know, we're rested up and ready to go. We're going to have to play with really good pace on offense. We're going to have to get stops on the defensive end.